to today's episode of Meal Preps with Lemurs. Today's special guest, we have Eliza. Go get her. Okay. I actually had to go change because I was really hot. But this is my just messed up in my hair. Say we're gonna cook today. Show us how we're gonna cook. Are you gonna help me prepare food? Look at my beautiful assistant. Oh, beauty. <laughs> so she'll be joining today while I prep food for both the animals at the farm and the animals that reside in the house. Oh my gosh, look at Eliza. <laughs> first things first, you gotta start with a quick diaper because as you know, rough lemurs have very soft stool. <laughs> Give me a diaper. Catch this morning. Oh, I can't see anything. That's too little, man. <laughs> that's like size one. <laughs> Eliza's gonna wear a No, that's a swimmy. All of her, please. I don't like her. I can't find her. I can't. We need to also leash her up because you can see. Don't eat my Oreos! She's eating my Oreos, mom! No, no, no. I don't know who you thought you were. So we're gonna do a tail wrap real quick. You're just getting an everything in one video right now. So. You gotta put the diaper on. So there's two different ways. Ways. There's two different ways to apply a diaper. Apply. <laughs> and this is one of them. It's the tail wrap. Like I said earlier, these guys have very mushy poop. So putting a hole in it's not so good because then you get that diarrhea all over the tail when you're removing. So we do the tail wrap. And this gives them a nice poop pocket so the poop isn't sitting on their butt when they use the restroom. And it's easy for them to maneuver. Should I get mm -hmm. Alright, so let's see what's good for today. So with all the variety of animals we have, mammal-wise, with the kinkajous, the owl monkeys, the rough lemurs, and the retail lemurs, we need to supply an equal amount of fruits and vegetables. You can get root if you is a fish and juice. She flew. She loves to do that. Can we get that on video? Eliza! 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 Come on, Eliza. This is what they do. They'll do it all the time and then we want them to do it to show you guys. They don't do it. Look, there's this apron. You want me to match you? That goes in the fall. I know 100% that goes in the fall. It's gonna fall. It's gonna fall. I'm sitting behind the wall, not this time. Remember, I tell you the lemurs break all the stuff? They do. Not this time. Thank God. Thank God. Well, I'll just continuously cook food. Well, I'm not really cooking, but whatever, you know what I mean. And you know what? It's pretty normal for people to lose their Tupperware lids and whatnot, and that's okay. But to repeatedly lose lids that are this big, you have to have something wrong with you. I am that person that loses the biggest Tupperware lid that exists on planet Earth. You can count on me. Miranda. Yeah. But you know, who's perfect?
I'm allergic to my lemurs. <gasps> so this is what my little tote looks like. I take this to the farm every day to feed everyone. I do approximately eight bananas. I do carrots, apple. We do whatever vegetable. Cucumber. Today we've got cucumber. We've got sweet potato. We've got some beans. We've got some papaya, grapes, all that good stuff. Getting it going for the babies. Eliza was not as helpful today with my food prep as I thought she would be, but you know what? I appreciate her efforts as little as they may be wherever she is. So we're gonna go play. I'm gonna go edit this video for you guys. And then we got a lot more interesting videos this week. I'll be doing our annual dewarming. We've got a lot going on. Hopefully we can get some volunteers going so I'm able to get help with remulching all of the enclosures cause that time has come and we'll see everything going on these next couple days. Right mama? <laughs> we say, I'm Jack, and I approve this message. Say it. <laughs>